Hi, welcome to another video. I just dropped the Ministral model testing, and I'm back again with another video. This video is about a new model creating buzz around the internet called Nematron. This model is fine-tuned from the Llama 3.1 model by none other than the GPU giant NVIDIA. Now, this wasn't a proper launch, because NVIDIA silently dropped the model on Hugging Face. But it's making waves online due to its benchmarks. The benchmarks show that it outperforms Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Llama 3.1 405B, and GPT-40, making it potentially the best model, if true. However, I mean, Reflection also claimed the same, so I don't really trust these benchmarks anymore. One benchmark that I do trust, and find similar to how models perform for me, is the Ader benchmarks. Ader has shared its results, and Nematron actually comes below the original Llama 3.1 which tells me the most about it. But let's try it ourselves. The model has open weights and is available on Olama, NVIDIA's NIMS platform, and also offers a free API with 1,000 credits. I'll be testing it via the API with the free credits. So, let's get started and check it out. Here are the 13 questions I'm going to test it against. Let's begin. The first question is, what is the capital city of the country whose name ends with Lia? The answer should be Canberra, or any country capital that rhymes with Lia. Let's send it and see. Here is the answer, and as you can see, we have a correct answer here. Although it consumes a lot of tokens, more than five times the normal amount, which is a downside. Anyway, let's mark it a pass. The next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and it's also correct. So, this one's a pass as well. The next question is, there are five people in a house a, B, C, D, and E. A is watching TV with B, D is sleeping, B is eating a sandwich, and E is playing table tennis. Suddenly a call comes on the telephone, and B leaves the room to answer the call. What is C doing? The answer should be that we cannot tell what C is doing, because it isn't mentioned. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and it's correct. So, this is a pass. The next question is, name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has eleven letters in total, and for which all vowels are ordered alphabetically. An answer could be something like transparent. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is incorrect. So, this is the first fail. The next question is, is 3,307 a prime number? The answer should be yes. Let's send it and check. Here's the answer, and it's correct as well. Next question. I have two apples. Then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and check. Here's the answer. This is also correct. So, let's mark it a pass. The next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, this is also a pass. The next question is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is also correct. It's going really great. Let's mark it. Now let's see if it performs this well in coding questions, too. The first one is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when clicked. You can use CSS and JS as well. 
Let's send it and see. Here's the code and the preview. It works well, so this is a pass too. The next question is, create a Python program that prints the next X leap years based on user input. Let's send it and check. Here's the code. Let's run it here. If we input a value, you can see it works well. So, this is also a pass. Next question. Generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and check. Here's the code, and it doesn't resemble a butterfly at all. So, this is another fail. Next question. Create a landing page for an AI company. The landing page should have four sections. Header, banner, features, and contact us. Make it sleek and modern using HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and check. Here's the code, and the preview looks good. So, this is also a pass. Finally, the last question. Write a game of life in Python that works in the terminal. Let's send it and check. Here's the code. If we run it, you'll see it works fine. So, this is also a pass. Now here's the final chart. Wow, it performed much better than I expected, which is really great. But if you compare it to the original Llama 3.170b, you'll see the performance difference isn't that significant. Llama 3.1 only failed one more question, which was the hexagon problem. So, it seems very similar to Llama 3.1, but with chain of thought built in which generally yields better results. The issue is that when chain of thought is built in, inference becomes more expensive. For example, Llama 3.1 costs about 40 cents for 1 million output tokens and 35 cents for 1 million input tokens, which is reasonable. Nematron costs the same, but the issue with Nematron is that it will typically cost you more since it generates more tokens, and pricing is based on tokens. So, it'll end up being pricier. But if you have the hardware to run Llama 3.1 locally, that's definitely a better option, because it will generally give you better results. I wouldn't say it's better than Llama 3.1405B or Claude, because they're more refined. And when a model generates more tokens, the context length will start to saturate faster, and you'll see performance degrade over time. So, it's good, but not amazing. I like it, but I don't think I'll be using it anytime soon. Anyway, it's pretty cool to try. It's like a poor man's version of the O1 model. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.